Hey you, this is Drew. Today we're going to be talking about the second iteration of The Flash, Barry Allen. His movie just came out, so I'm sure we're going to see Barry Allen run so fast on a treadmill and break it. The dude's famous for it. <laughs> JK. No, so Barry Allen is a speedster who received the speed force from a lightning bolt that struck him, which gave him the ability of super speed. What's crazy is that Barry Allen was eventually able to control the speed force so well that he supposedly became the lightning bolt that gave him his powers in the first place. At a young age though, Barry's mother was murdered, and that drove him to investigate and eventually become a forensic scientist for the Central City Police Department. He is the fastest person in all of comics, even faster than Quicksilver, Makari, and Superman. He's also a founding member of the Justice League. The Flash managed to travel to the 25th century when he came across his biggest fan, Eobard Thawne, who had also harnessed the Speed Force. But in Thawne's desire to become a Flash, he started jeopardizing people's lives just to save them. This irked Alan's Flash, causing them to be each other's enemies, and Thawne became Reverse Flash. Later on, Barry found out that Thawne was in fact his mother's murderer, and he traveled back in time to stop him, causing the Flashpoint Paradox, which I can cover here if y'all are interested, but basically it changed the whole world completely, the whole universe actually, and he had to go back in time to stop himself from going back in time. Don't worry, that part isn't as wonky as Wolverine going back in time in the Age of Ultron event, but I'm sure that's, you know, in like a movie right now to reset the DC Universe for James Gunn's recent takeover. 